Alright guys, hi! Welcome to the first episode of This Week in FTSR. The show where we go over and uh, review some of the racing for this week's action on track. And uh, My name is Brady Hanna, with me is Tony Solari t- today. And man, We had some great racing, Tony, this week. Uh, we went to Hickory with the ARCA car and we went to Atlanta for the trucks and the Cup Series. And uh, saw some great racing all throughout the week. Hey, everybody. Yeah, it has been a uh, big fun here at uh, F- FTSR this week. Uh, yeah, like you say, we had some new track and uh, old track. And, uh, yeah, a lot of great racing this weekend, though. Yep. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll jump right into it. We'll look at the uh, highlights for the uh, FTSR Arkham and Hard Series. On Thursday night, the drivers of the FTSR Arca Series headed to Hickory Motor Speedway for 150 laps of racing action. It didn't take long before things heated up as out lap 18, lap 84, the 55 of Jeff Bratton gets loose, hits the wall off turn four and massive damage into turn one causing the first caution. On lap 93, the 27 of Terry Walter spins into turn three, collecting the 17 of Steve Loomis. On lap 105, the 23 of Hannah spins off turn two, did not collect another card, but did bring out the caution. On lap 116, the 11 of Tony Solari does the same thing off turn two, spins, brings out the fourth caution of the night. On lap 128, the 27 of Terry Walters gets loose off turn four, tries to correct and ends up into the tires into turn one, bringing out another caution and ending his night. The racing continued after that, pretty hard and fierce here uh, on lap 138. But while racing for third place, the 91 of Kenneth Schultz and the 23 of Hannah make contact off turn four. This causes the 91 to spin and brings out the caution yet again. On the final restart, the 12 of Brian Stanley on old tires spins his tires, opening the bottom up for the 75 of Chuck Sweeting. Chuck Sweeting was able to catch the 19, even giving him a bump at one point but was unable to find his way around. And that's going to lead to Richie Corr scoring his fourth win of the season and second win in a row in the FTSR ARCA series. Well, like I said there, Richie scoring his fourth win of the season in the ARCA series. Uh, Again, you know, pretty dominant performance by Richie there at Hickory. Uh, Chuck Sweeting finishing second, Hannah rebounding to third, uh, Rupert and Solari rounding out your top five. Tony, we were in that race, and man, that's a that's a little tough short track, but it uh, kind of gets back to your roots of uh, short track racing. Well, absolutely. Well, and it's Richie's strong suit, too. He's a short track guy, and uh, I kind of like the short tracks, too. And uh, it was a slippery setup, but, uh, you know, as you can see from the spins, but uh, it was a lot of fun, actually. I like that little track. Absolutely. We look at the points. Uh, of course, no surprise there. Richie Corey leading the points by 31 over uh, Hannah. Richie on vacation this week, so uh, we head to uh, Auto Club uh, next week and uh, gonna gonna have a lot of fun with that track as well, I'm sure. Oh yeah, for sure. It's uh, not my favorite, but uh, I know a lot of guys like it, and uh, it's gonna be fun in those Arca cars. A lot of uh, a lot of lane choices there, a lot of wide track, a lot of racing, a lot of a lot of fun for these guys usually. So uh, let's go on ahead to the FTSR Sim Racing Points Truck Series race highlights at Atlanta. The drivers of the FTSR Truck Series took to their inaugural race in the newly configured Atlanta Motor Speedway on Wednesday night. On lap 54, the 32 of Andrew Palicki had an issue with his VR headset. He hits the wall and is done for the night. On lap 80, contact between the 11 of Solari and the 12 of Justin Belmonte causes the 11 to slide through the grass and he ended up receiving a pit road penalty. Right after that, on lap 81, the 21 of Jeff Langston gets loose right in front of the 19 of Richie Coy. Both drivers drivers are able to save it and uh, keep going. On lap 85, the 85 Gil Gonk has an issue right in front of teammate Chuck Sweeting. He spins and brings out the yellow. The racing continued hot and heavy up front. A lot of racing action going on here on this track. Fast and furious for sure. On lap 113, though, the uh, 55 of Bratton and the 12 of Justin Belmonte end up making contact. This causes a pretty big wreck, and it brings out the caution. On the final restart, 
The damaged vehicle of Nicholas Casey was able to lead them to the green and held on to the lead for about a lap. That is until the 23 of Hannah looked to the outside with the help from Chuck Sweeting and was able to get around him for what was the final lead change of the night. The 23 truck was able to hold on and grab his first FTSR Truck Series win of 2022B and the first win at the newly configured Atlanta track. So there you see Hannah coming home in first, uh, Jeff Bratton second. Uh, able to make a late charge there, Tony. Chuck Sweeting third, and then you got Rupert and Grassi rounding out your top five. Yeah, it was good to see uh, guys like Bratton and uh, and Rupert up in the top five. Uh, the great track, a lot of speed. Uh, you know, it's a uh, it didn't turn out too bad for a uh, a mile and a half play track, I guess you'd call it. And you're looking at the standings there now. Uh, Richie Corey holds the points lead after a tough night at Atlanta. Actually rebounded to come home eighth, but. Uh, you got Chuck Sweeting in second, and uh, Justin Belmonte, rookie there, finishing and uh, running third right now in the points as we head to um, New Hampshire next week. Yeah, we got a lot of still strong contestant uh, contenders out there. So uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting what we what we see next week. Absolutely, We're looking forward to a it's a unique track with uh, New Hampshire. It's a little, very line sensitive, but a lot of different. Uh, different ways to attack that track for sure so we'll see what happens there let's go ahead and head over to the uh fdsr and mach 1 performance cup series race highlights from atlanta motor speedway the drivers of the fdsr cup series got their first taste of the new atlanta motor speedway on monday night the uh 15 of nicholas moreau leading them to the green flag the racing was pretty good early on but everybody had hesitations about what this track was going to provide on lap 23, the 11 taps the wall down the dogleg and he uh, causes significant damage to his machine, pretty much ending his night. On lap 32, the 24 of Stephen Lou Allen catches the car too quickly, swerves to miss making contact, and uh, hits the wall off of turn four. On lap 34, the 75 of Chuck Sweeney gets loose off two, hits the inside wall twice, and pretty much ends his night. Lap 52, uh, the top five cars were able to finally break away a little bit as uh, handling became an issue. The second pack attempted to organize and did make up some ground before pit stops. Under green flag pit stops, some of the front runners ran into issues as you see the four of Chad Lane kind of get loose into the corner and uh, into the pit road and speed. Also the 67 of James Wallace having issues here and uh, getting caught for speeding as well. After pit stops, the 15 of Moreau retakes the lead and would hold on the lead for a couple laps. On lap 100, the second pack uh, had issues organizing and lost a little ground during the second run. Brody Hanna in the number 23 Ford was able to take back over the lead from Nicholas Moreau on lap 103. And on lap 120, uh, all the leaders start making pit stops. Unfortunately, the 15 of a row comes in a little too hot, makes contact with the 23 Ford, and uh, sends him out in the grass, but no harm, no foul. Everybody keeps going. The 15 of a row comes off. I'm sorry, after pit stops, the leader came out in lap cars, and things got a little dicey behind him. The 02 of Mayhew and the uh, 15 of Nicholas Moreau did everything they could to try to make up lost ground on pit road, working together and trying to run down the 23, but they were unable to do it. And the 23 holds on, Hannah holds on and captures his first win of the 2022 B season in the Cup Series. So there's the results there. Uh, Hannah first, Moreau hangs on for second place, Josh Mayhew third, Brian Dublay uh, fourth, and uh, Matthew Vacan. Uh, finishes fifth. A good run for Dublay and uh, and Mayu there. They were able to capitalize on the field kind of spreading out and no cautions, Tony. No cautions in this race. That was probably the most uh, impressive thing about the whole evening because uh, there was a few spins, few wrecks. Uh, I didn't suffer very well. I know Chuck had an issue. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, it, very impressive though. The guys were able to at least get off the track and then not bring out the caution. Very impressive. 
All right, and you're looking at the points now. You got Moreau leading Hannah by four points. Moreau with that second place finish has been very consistent this year. We head to New Hampshire next week. Another challenging track, and uh, he's going to be strong there for sure. Absolutely. And uh, Richie should be back next week, too. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be... Uh... It's going to be another fun uh, week next week. Well, there you had it for all three series this week in, uh, in racing at FTSR. And, uh, Tony, we've got some very interesting racing coming up. you got the, the, the shorter flat track in New Hampshire that's a challenging track, something different than anything else on the schedule for Trucks and Cup. And then you've got the fast and flat Atlanta, I'm sorry, Auto Club Speedway, um, coming up for arca so uh should be a should be an interesting week for sure it's going to definitely be another fun week um i i dread auto club uh and and i'm kind of hit or miss with uh, new hampshire but uh yeah it's gonna definitely be interesting and uh you know the the beauty of the next gen and the truck they're so different cars so it's gonna probably be a couple of different races there too well listen guys this is gonna do it for us this week in ftsr uh, if you want to get involved in the racing, make sure to check us out on FTSR.net. Get registered, get signed up, get in these races and have some fun with us. Also, if you want to see more of the clips that we sh we played today, if you want to watch the whole race broadcast, make sure to check out Nerditudes on YouTube. Watch our races. You can see the, the full-length races of Cup and Truck as well. Uh, and, and watch some of our past races, kind of see what we have going on here. But definitely check them out. Give them a like and a follow. Follow us on Facebook, FTSR uh on facebook as well look us up and uh and give us a like and a follow as well but other than that i think it'll about do it for us this week tony uh for myself and for tony solari we appreciate for you you guys joining us and we'll see you next week in ftsr <laughs>